Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, I'll be showing you the top five swords in Blocks Fruits. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so, and it really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. Disclaimer, this is purely my opinion on the top five swords in Blocks Fruits. So it might not align with the actual top five swords in blocks fruits also she sweet will not be on the list since it's the only one that i don't have otherwise it would be on the top five list number five the fifth sword on my list is buddy sword yep that's right the buddy sword it is the newest sword so far in update 17 coming out in update 17 part 1 and I think it is really good the first move is heat slash it stuns and then throws the opponent away the second move is lightning wave where you can aim and have a ginormous range it's the biggest range I think in the game for any sword the hitbox on it is crazy, so it's really good for sniping Buddha runners and people like that. So here's a quick combo with Buddy Sword and Sharkman Karate. Heat Slash, then Pressure Vortex, Great Sea Spear, and Lightning Wave. Does quite a bit of damage. You can try to add the a lot of palms, but it's pretty hard since it usually misses. Number four. Number four on the list is none other than Toshida. Toshida is a really good sword for PvP. Both of the moves have really long range for the lunges and Celestial Ravenger. And Celestial Ravenger can be used to run away or to chase opponents. Here is a combo with Toshida. It does a lot of damage. And I'm pretty sure it's a one-shot combo as well. So that's really good. Number three. The third sword on the tier list is Cavender. Cavender is a really good sword. It's got the scattering dust with lots of particles that can all be individually aimed, but it needs to be aimed like really fast. Piercing dash, which can hit multiple times, and both moves have a nice hitbox and can be used for like. One really awesome thing you can do with Cavender is can use any move in the middle of piercing dash so just use it and also it does move that you want to use at the same time so that makes it really good for combos and doing things fast here is a combo for Toshida As you can see, the combo almost one shot the dummy. It is a very good PvP. Number two. The second best sword in Blocks Fruits has to be Dark Blade. Dark Blade is a really, really good sword. I know it is a Robux sword, but you can trade for it, so that's how I got it, and I think it is really good. The first move can be used to stun, the second move is, has a nice range, I mean just look how far it went, and you can hold down both moves to unlock a new version of it. If you hold down the 1000 slices, you get launched. So you can use that to run or chase people. And if you hold down the second move, it goes much faster and further. 
Here is a combo with Dark Blade. Dark Blade is the very Number 1. The best sword in Blocks Fruits. Probably is not a surprise to anyone. This sword is none other than Pole version 2. Its stun is the best in the game out of all of the swords. Having both moves doing tons of stun, it can make combos super easy. You can use just about any fighting style with it, or any version 2 fighting style with it, and it's very good. I'll show you the death step combo with it. Another great thing about Pole is because it stuns, you don't need to use something like Dark or Ice or something along the lines of that. You can use Door if you want. Here is the Pole version 2 combo. As you can see, it got the dummy the lowest. Some downsides of Pole is that it's short range, especially, especially the second move. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I make a new video. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time.